Welcome back to the channel, folks. Honda snowblower enthusiasts. Today we're going to show this uh, HS928 K model. Is it a buy or a no buy? And what else I'm going to talk about? I'm going to show you the difference in the value on a machine that's been serviced and one that has not been serviced. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to show you what what was done to this machine and how much it costs to service it and how much it adds or subtract, subtracts to the value of the machine if it's serviced or not serviced. So let's get started with this. This is my favorite 928. It's a K model. Let me put it on the on the handlebars. The augers were bent. The augers were bent on this. They're not too bad, but they were bent. The housing guard was worn out, so it had to be replaced. That's about 75 bucks right there. The inside bolt was missing. The, uh, the impeller pin was missing. This... Uh, uh, auger was seized when it took the took the shear pin out it wouldn't turn so it had to be freed up took the and bolt out and sprayed some lubricating oil in, in there and got it freed up so it's got a new uh, housing guard new pins augers were were uh, straightened out uh, the track this track was really, really loose because the the nut on the uh, on the end was missing. Let me see so I can show you. That nut was missing, so the track was really loose and was getting ready to pull uh, fall off. Um, did the rest of the service? Well, this is, the machine's not done yet. But this, this was locking up. Uh, one of the cables needed adjustment. The plug was good. The oil is going to be changed. Uh, fortunately, the belts are good. I checked the belts. Let me show you the belts here. The belts are in pretty good shape. Otherwise, I would add... Uh, about fifty dollars for the belts and another eighty-five to one hundred and twenty-five dollars in labor on changing the belts because the bucket would have to be taken off if uh, the auger belt has to be replaced. Okay, so going through this machine, you take it to a shop. You know, if you're buying it, if you're looking to buy it, this machine wasn't too bad, but um, if you're you know, any, any machine that you buy, most likely it needs a service. If it's been serviced, that adds a, that can add a lot of value to a machine. Now, the service on this machine is around with all the repairs that have been done and everything. It's around $300. So if the, if the guy told me that it's been serviced beforehand and he can show me a receipt then I would say you know I would say well that adds value it just doesn't add the $300 value it might be adding like $500 value or more since it's been serviced because if you have to take it to a shop and spend $300 I mean it's more than that it's your time taking it to the shop and then waiting a month or a couple months for it to come back and you know, and then go in to get it wherever you live. And uh, so it adds a lot of value to it if you can find a machine that's been serviced. But most machines are not serviced. So, you know, you're talking, you should already, already factor that in when you're buying a used machine, at least a couple hundred dollars unless you can do it yourself. So anywhere from 200 to, you know, $500 in value with a machine that's been serviced or not. So out here on the West Coast, 
these uh, K models, these 928K models go for about 2000 to 2500 Now, I know a lot of you people are shaking your heads because on the East Coast, you can get these a lot cheaper. Uh, maybe up in Canada, I don't know what the prices, the market values are up in Canada. But in the Midwest and the Northeast where it hasn't been snowing very much, the values have been really tanking. So, you know, maybe you can get this for 800 to to $1,000 in the Northeast. If you can, grab it because a K model 928 is a later model HS928 and it's a very, very good machine. It's my favorite 928. Now, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, so like out here on the West Coast, if you were looking at the machine and they were saying, hey, this is a $2,400 machine, it hasn't been serviced. That's why it's so important to do these inspections like I've been showing you in these videos. You know, once once you watch these videos and get a little bit of practice inspecting these machines, you would you would see all the work that needs to be done. You could say say to the guy, Oh, it looks like it needs like a couple hundred, three hundred dollars worth of work, you know, and yeah, I don't think it's worth uh, 2400 or, or whatever it is. You know, you can negotiate a, a much lower price of four or $500. But if it's been serviced and up the snuff, you know, this, this could be worth what they're asking for, you know, depending on where you live, the type of snow falls you get, uh, the market averages in your area. So... I'm hoping this will help you. You know, it's important to to ask questions uh, when before you buy a machine. You know, when's the last time it was serviced? If they have a, a, a receipt, that helps a lot. And it really helps to get experience inspecting machines and watching these videos on what to look for on buying a good used Honda snowblower. So you can save considerable amount of money when you're very educated in this and you know what to look for and you know how much things are going to cost to repair. It, it, very rarely do you buy a used machine that doesn't need anything. I've, I've bought over 200 Hondas. I've never, I've never bought a Honda that didn't need some kind of work. You know, it, it'd have to go to the shop get a service if they don't find anything wrong you're looking at a you know a hundred hundred and fifty dollars just for a basic service with nothing needing to be done but most machines need something shear pins and cables or uh, uh, bearings uh, uh, belts uh, all kinds of stuff so you're looking at two times that cost the basic cost three times that cost you know, it could be anywhere from two hundred to five hundred dollars on a on a big machine like this. So, thank you for watching, folks. Really appreciate it. I really do appreciate all the people comments, uh, Facebook group, Honda snowblower enthusiasts, and we'll see you next time.